And I can't reach anyone, not as of now. That's why I have my phone in my hand. Now at 530, relatives in South Florida anxious and having trouble reaching loved ones amid the devastation in the Bahamas. Many are trying, but so far they've been unable to reach them. CBS 4's Peter Dench has been speaking with family members. He joins us live from Miami. And Peter, man, this has to be agonizing for them as they await word, any kind of word for how their folks might be there. Well, certainly so, Jim and Ruta Bay. We've been speaking with people here at the Bahamian Pot Restaurant at Northwest 63rd Street at 6th Avenue in Miami, as well as a home in Broward County, where the people there are hoping that a Facebook page will help out in terms of communication. Now, we found a consensus in two counties, anxiety among many people trying to reach loved ones and friends in the Bahamas. And I can't reach anyone, not as of now. That's why I have my phone in my hand. Isabella Rivers is stunned by the latest images from the Bahamas. Homes flooded, devastation, even a shark in one house. From looking at the news, the water has come up to the second floor. So I'm hopefully that God spared their lives. While Rivers cannot find close friends, Sydney Dobson cannot reach cousins, aunts and uncles in the Abacos, which took the full brunt of Dorian. What are your concerns right now about them? Um, as far as power, um, flooding. Inside the Bahamian Pot restaurant, Deborah Ellis Roll and Jay Money tell me they can't reach many family members. My worries is that they really need help over there, and I pray that the water can get go down and get rid of and everybody be okay. Yo, what are your worries? The water, and them being able to get out of the homes. So. We just pray to God that they're safe. Inside this Fort Lauderdale home, Gladys Joseph is using a Facebook page she had already created, Abaconians Reunite, to connect people with each other. She's been unable to reach two brothers, one of them in hard hit Marsh Harbor. My concerns is um, that he's safe um, because last one, uh, when I last spoke to him, I coerced him to go to a little hill. Denise Decius hopes a Facebook page will help. I haven't spoken to my dad. My, I, spoke, I spoke to him since Friday. And since then, I've been calling his phone. I haven't been able to get in contact with him. Now about 1,000 people are connected to the Abaconians Reunite Facebook page. Gladys Joseph and friends in Fort Lauderdale were coordinating messages. Communication is such a challenge with so much electricity and cell phone service being out in the Bahamas. We're live in Miami. Peter Dench, CBS 4 News. We sure hope they get reconnected. Peter, thank you.